this one you is free for testing. If you want to hack it, you can hack it. So it is called demo.testfire.net. This is a website sponsored by IBM for testing purposes actually. So this will be your target. So go to your browser, look for who is lookup and give your target URL there and let me know what you can find. So I'm going to my Windows 7 browser. I'm searching for who is lookup. So there are so many websites which are offering the service. I am using who is domain tools because I like it. And I go here and put my target demo.testfire.net so whenever we register a domain name right we have to submit some values when you want to register there actually so let me finish my capture so sometimes the hackers can find information like which type of IP range is used, what are the domain names, where is the location of the server, who is running, what kind of services is running. We can actually collect a lot of information about the target server from here. Sometimes hackers also try to find the location of the uh, admin name, uh, email address, phone number, uh, physical address, all those documented information by looking into the who is information. This is the first step of fast gathering okay next one we are going to do is using google search engine to find any file formats which is being leaked so google is a very big search engine right we can customize the results of google to give us some output so for example i can go to um, google search engine here and then give the target site so my site is demo.testfire.net this will tell Google to filter the results from this website and I am looking for a file type. Let's say I am looking for file type PDF. So I can try to find any file which is being leaked to the public. So I can go and look up for any confidential data which is being leaked. I just keep changing the file type here. Let's say to a document uh, or let's say txt, backup file, whatever things I can uh, think of, I try to filter it out and if it is being leaked to the public, I can actually find it out. So sometimes hackers use this technique to look for anything which is being leaked to the public. We can also find source code using this technique actually. So I can try to look for any hidden pages or any source code whatsoever. I can try to filter the results. So I give site the target website and I filter for the file type I want. So this way I can get the results 